Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with a Dollar Tree finds and fails for you. Everything in here is from the Dollar Tree and I do believe there may be a couple plus items from the freezer section. I think hubby put them in there. So I'm going to show you those, but I'm going to go ahead and start with what I believe I just showed this in one of my recent videos. This is by WBC. This is the spicy ginger craft soda made with 100% real sugar. Okay, I have my glass here with some ice. This is weird. This, I'm glad I tried it, but I don't think I'll have to buy it again. If you like trying different drinks just for the experience of it and just taste testing it, seeing what's out there, go ahead and pick this up and then let me know what you think. I'm, I don't know. It is so hard to describe. I thought this would be more of like a ginger ale. That's what kind of I was expecting. This is very strange. It's almost fruity, spicy. I do not even know how to describe it. It's not super sweet. I mean, it's sweet, but it's not super sweet. It is interesting. But, and I will finish it, I will drink it. It's not bad by any means. It is very different. So I'm curious to see what hubby thinks of this. I'll let him finish the rest of the bottle because I dumped in about half. I believe it's a 16 ounce, yes. Have you guys tried this? And what are your thoughts? It is just, it is definitely unique. I don't, I don't know different. All right. I finished off a little bottle of the um, laundry detergent that I love. Now that you guys have told me that it's at Dollar General, that's where I'll be buying it from now on in the bigger jugs, the 32 load. But this was on the shelf from Dollar Tree, the, the store that I go to all the time that was 21 loads. So I finished that off. It is the LA's totally awesome 21 load stain lifter laundry detergent in the clean, fresh scent. 42 fluid ounce. I love this laundry detergent. I think it works excellent for us. Like I've said when I have showed it, we don't get super, super dirty other than hubby's clothes from like yard work, that type of thing, or if he's been down in the garage doing a lot. But this works well for us on everything else. So I pick it up and now I, I will be picking it up from Dollar General. I wish Dollar Tree would bring it back. But I mean, Dollar General, it's a dollar for the jug of 32 load. So if you go to Dollar General, check it out. I know I just showed this, it is good. This is the Premier Protein Root Beer Float and it tastes like a root beer float. It does have that protein shake back flavor to it, which I don't mind, but you definitely get the root beer float out of this. It is yummy, super good. And $1.25 for a Premier Protein name brand drink is an excellent value. So I only picked up two. I wish now I probably would have picked up more, but if they're still in the store when I go back, I'll go ahead and, and pick up a few more of them. I love having protein drinks on the shelf. I finished a bag of the Penny Sticks pretzels. These are, what is the brand of these? I do this every time I show them. They're Benzels. They are Benzel's pretzels. It's why I love them. They're from Altoona, Pennsylvania. I just picked up the, the um, pretzel rods from them. Absolutely love these. And these are the, the smaller sticks. I love them a lot. And this is a big bag. It's a 12 ounce bag. It takes me quite a while to finish off a bag of these, but they're delicious. All right, the copper oven liner. It's in the stores right now and I mean, I know a lot of you are having trouble finding it, but I'm still seeing it in our stores. This is what it looks like, but we actually cut it to fit our smaller cookie sheet. It is clean, guys, but you can see it does get a little stained up. These work great, and you can just wash them when you're done with it. Wash them up and just, I have not put it in the dishwasher yet, but it says you can. I'm just afraid it would kind of fly around in the dishwasher. I don't know. But I just use a little bit of dish soap and just, you know, rub it up very well and then rinse it good. And then I just kind of stand it against something in my dish drying rack and they dry quickly. 
these work great and things do not stick to this at all. They do not stick. And it is the, the size before it's cut is 13 by 15 0.7 inches. You just get one in here. It withstands heat up to 500 degrees and it works amazingly well. You just get one sheet. So I have one sheet this size to fit my smaller cookie sheet and then there's another section of it, a smaller section that I just use to lay on a cookie sheet. And I had actually made myself one day for lunch one of the, um, oh, what's it called? Like a French bread pizza. And I think it was Stouffer's brand or something. I made myself one of those and it fit perfectly on there for me to bake it. But we've been using this now, you can tell several times, they work great. Nothing sticks to this. I wanna try it though on homemade cookies and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some homemade cookies here real soon. So wanna try it on that. We finished a thing of the Old Orchard Healthy Balance, the Mango Tangerine. It's two carbs, one gram of sugar, five calories, a 64 fluid ounce. You guys know, if you guys have been here for any length of time, we love this juice. And it, there's always one in the refrigerator. Uh, and we love all the flavors except the cider, the apple cider. We don't like that flavor. And I haven't, I have yet to see it yet this year come out. Usually this time of the year it comes out. So that one we, we didn't like and we won't be picking it up again. But this one is delicious. This one reminds me a lot of like Sunny D, like that type of flavor. Super good. This is probably going to be a pretty short video, guys, because there's not too many things in here. But I wanted to go ahead and show you. I just dropped a bunch of these on the floor. These are the nail caps to remove your artificial nails. These are the clean ones that I have not used yet. But it comes in a pack like and this. They're by Sassy and Chic. You get 10. And then what you do, these are two of them that I actually have used. It's how I removed my last set of nails. The other three fell on the floor. But what I do is I take one of the round, like the flat cotton rounds, and I cut it in half and then cut it in half again to get like four little wedges. And then I put acetone, 100% acetone nail polish remover on it. I set that on my, my artificial nail. And then you just go ahead and you can just clip these on and you do it with, I do one hand at a time because I wouldn't be able to do anything if I had them on both hands. So I just do one hand at a time. I let it soak for maybe 10 minutes and then I take it off and I, I just slowly start rubbing off the artificial nail. And then you may have to replace it, you know, the cotton soaked in acetone you may have to replace it and let it soak for a little bit longer to get it off completely. And I do clip down my artificial nails. You know, I clip them down as far as I can before I actually do it. There's no point in wasting the time soaking off all of that too. So I just clip them back. But these work great. And I also have the ones that are, they're also pink. And I believe it's a five pack of those. They're just like a cap that you slide on after you put your cotton ball soaked with acetone, you just slide it on. They work amazingly well too. I've been using those for years until I found these and thought I'd give these a try. And these, these work great. They work amazingly well. So I highly recommend. So now I need to pick up all those that fell on the floor. This was in the plus in the freezer section and hubby wanted to try it. I knew that I would not like these at all, but he tried them. He had these like for... I don't know, probably three weekends in a row watching football. He would just, you know, air fry a couple of them in the oven. And he liked these a lot. And these are by the Yummy, I guess, brand. And they are the boneless wings. And it says breaded chicken breast patty with rib meat glazed with buffalo style sauce. And it does say on here, hot buffalo. I knew that right then that I would not personally like them because of it. And he says to tell you they are hot. So, but the flavor was great. He loved them. He will buy these again. And I think these were $5 in the plus section. And they're a nice size piece too. I mean, I saw them as he was cooking them and eating them. You know, they look like a real chicken wing. They're, but they're boneless. So he highly recommends these. And then this was another thing that he finished. It is the Michael Angelo's one serving homemade taste, the chicken parmigiana. 
and it is inspired by Italian traditions, wholesome, simple ingredients, microwavable, made in the USA, and it's a 10 ounce perfect little size meal. And he he's the one that had this as well for lunch one day. I, I tasted it, of course. It is very good. And he was actually having a conversation in the store here recently in the Dollar Tree with um I can't remember if it was the manager or one of the one of the workers in there about how good this Michelangelo's brand is. And they all agreed. They all love this Michelangelo's these products. And I can't remember how much this was, if it was $4 or $5, but it was worth it. Instead of going out, you know, to eat, going through a drive-thru, you spend more than that going through a drive-thru. And this was very, very good. So we highly recommend. Finished a thing of garlic powder. And I know I just showed a package of this just recently in one of my videos. We picked up another one. That's how much we like it. It's just 100% garlic powder. And it is a 2.5 ounce by Supreme Tradition. We buy their spices all the time. They're they're just good. Let's see. Oh, this hand soap, guys. This was the Dial Himalayan Salts hand soap. I don't know about this. You can see I've been using it, and I will finish finish it. But I wanted to talk to you about this. It's a 7.5 ounce. The scent of this is nice but it's not my favorite scent. But one of the things that I'm having trouble with, and I know a couple of you had, have commented on videos, I have trouble getting it all off my hands. I mean, using warm water, it just feels like even after you rinse your hands, you think that it's gone, you can still feel it, like it's kind of sticky. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the soap, I don't know, but it is Dial, you know, it's a name brand, but. I'll finish this one, but I don't think I will buy this again. So what are your thoughts on that? You know, guys, and these are just my opinions. You know, I know there's a lot of you that probably absolutely love this, but it's just my opinion of it. Finished a thing of the snack pack, the chocolate and vanilla little pudding cups. There's four cups in here, and it's like layered, like a chocolate layer, a vanilla layer, and a chocolate layer. I like just having these on hand especially now that it's getting colder outside. I don't know why, but I like having pudding for a snack in the evening. Not all the time, every once in a while. And the snack pack are good and they take me back to my kindergarten year. Because I remember back in the day, snack packs actually came in a little metal container and it had a flip top. You had to pull the, the tab and pull it off. And I remember getting cut by that lid when I pulled it off. But yeah, that's Snack Pack, and they have all different flavors in the store. They have tapioca, they have butterscotch, just straight chocolate, straight vanilla, all different flavors. But this was the pack that I picked up a while ago, and I just finally finished it off. And it does say it's made with real milk. And what is this? Oh, this was that Latte Coffee Vanilla by Brew Brutiful. It's iced coffee drink, Arabica blend, and it's a 10.7 fluid ounce can. I didn't like the mocha. I didn't like it at all. The vanilla, it's doable, but I won't pick it up again either. It Comparing this to the Victor Allen brand, there's no comparison. Victor Allen is just way above this. Beautiful packaging though. What was this? Oh, this was that copper infused compression sleeve. And this says that it is comfortable pull over design, moderate support, and you get one in here. Hubby actually picked up two of these, one for each knee. And he has been wearing them and he likes them. I think one of you said that maybe your husband was wearing it and it stretched out and kept rolling down. Hubby hasn't had that problem with it so far anyway. He really, he likes these a lot. And then one of you suggested, you know, is it time for hubby to have knee replacement surgery? That has been talked about. So hopefully that's not anytime soon. But then I finished the thing of the dishwasher pods. I like these. And a lot of you, when I showed them in one of my last hauls, a lot of you love them too. 10 pods in here for $1.25, I think is an excellent deal. And they work great for me. They don't give me any trouble whatsoever. My glasses come clean. 
you know, I don't have a problem with pricing lipstick and, and lip gloss on there right now, but these work great for me. <clears throat> and then probably once every four or fifth load, something like that, I'll go ahead and throw in like a name brand just to, you know, I don't know if that helps or not. It's just something I do, but these work great for me and you get 10. And then the last thing, I just showed this recently. You can see I've used quite a bit of it, but the only thing is it was only two uses and I used all of that in two uses. This was the, what is it? Aroma Signature brand, and that is a trademark on there. It is Ginger Citrus Scented Salt Scrub, and it's a 5.1 ounce container of it. It just seemed like it didn't do anything at all. I Like I'd scoop out a little bit in the shower and like try to rub it on my legs and it would just, just completely run off. It just didn't feel like it exfoliated at all. And it's almost um, oily is how I would describe it. It almost made my legs feel oily. So I don't know. The scent was okay, but, and I will finish it, but I wanted to show it to you. I, I wouldn't buy it again. I wanted to try it just because of the scent of it, the ginger citrus, and just to try it. And yeah, it was okay, but I won't buy it again. Thing is, honestly, it really wasn't even okay. It was just there. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll buy it again. But anyway, guys, that is it. The bin is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and gather up all this garbage and take it for the trash. And yeah, this, this ginger soda, I, I don't know about this. It's interesting. It's like you can taste almost cloves, but yet flowery, fruity. I, it's very, very different. If you want to try something different, pick one of these up and dollar twenty-five. Give it a try, and then please let me know your thoughts. Definitely interesting. I'm curious to see hubby's reaction to that. What he thinks. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go about my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.